Hey. We had a question this week. There was a uh, Tampa police officer who was killed in a wrong way crash on I-275. Eight lane highway here in our area. And surprisingly, this is not the first time someone's driven the wrong way. Why this guy went the wrong way on 275? I don't know, never heard. I did hear he ran, weaved in and out of traffic, trying to avoid cars. And there was a police officer who stopped him, turned into him, crashing into this guy and giving his life to save others. Officer Jesse Madston. Officer Madston, I found out was a Marine. His funeral was yesterday. And I'm like, of course he was a Marine, it makes sense. But someone asked me a question uh, a couple days ago. Why did he do it? And, uh, and it was an interesting question. And I think it's because he had to. He couldn't not stop this guy when he had the ability to do that. I mean, military and officers are trained to look at a situation, evaluate your options, and take action. And that's what he did, because he had to. Um, you know, I've heard this is a, a, a rescue mentality that police and fire rescue guys have. Yeah, it is. And uh, that was exemplified. But it's also something that all of us possess. And what I wanted to do was read you something because it says in scripture, it says in the Bible, no greater love hath man than this, that he lay down his life for his brother. It's because as a Christian and that rescue personality, you know, others are more important than you. You have to save them. You can't not stop. But there's another section, too, that I wanted to read when I say that I think this is within all of us. Because as a Christian, you know, we follow Jesus' example. And Jesus thought of all us before himself. He laid down his life for us. And there's a book in the Bible, Proverbs. It's a book of sayings. And chapter 28, I think, speaks to this directly. I mean, it starts off this way. It says, the wicked are edgy with guilt, ready to run off, even when no one's after them. Honest people are relaxed and confident, bold as lions. That's where this starts, between good and bad. People who follow the law and obey the rules and those who want to get over. And it goes from there. But there are two verses I want to read, which kind of address, speak to Officer Madston. Because it says, if you desert, verse 4, if you desert God's law, you're free to embrace depravity. If you love God's law, you fight for it tooth and nail. And verse 5, justice makes no sense to the evil-minded. Those who seek God know it inside and out. So, you know, I thank God Officer Madston was there. And, uh, and if you're a Christian, you understand this. And if you have a rescue mentality, you understand you've got to do something. You can't not help when it's within your power, too. I thank God for the training that Officer Madison had in the Marines, for the further training he had as a police, Tampa police officer. And, uh, and I honor him with, uh, for giving his life to protect those of us. Um, so I hope you celebrate with me in that, celebrate a life. And, uh, and I hope this answers the question, why did he do it? That's why. Because there was no choice in not doing it. Guys, thanks for letting me share. Remember, keep those questions coming. We're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, at FL Compass Church. Uh, be sure to check out our group uh, under, on Facebook, Church Happy Hour. 
post a question, post a thought, let me know what you think, let me know what questions you have. And for all the latest information, check us out at uh, www.flcompasschurch.org. Have a fantastic week, and we'll see you Saturday.